Patients who walk through these doors at Cura Medical Clinic don't have health insurance, but here they don't have to worry about that. Yesterday, I spoke with one of the patients who credits this clinic here in Sepulpa for saving her life. I knew something was wrong but I couldn't afford to go to a doctor. When Becky Barton heard a medical clinic was opening in her hometown of Sepulpa for people like her without health insurance, she immediately came to get a routine checkup. She was able to uh, get me to the people that I needed to get to. And uh, in the process, uh, found out that I had endometrial cancer. She says timing was everything. The cancer hadn't yet spread. If I'd have waited another year or so, you know, my story may have been a completely different uh, outcome. A simple physical turned her life around. She's one of more than 200 patients that have come through the doors of Cura Medical Clinic since last July. The majority of our patients are uh, 40s, 50s, 60s, working adults uh, who are just having uh, struggles to kind of make ends meet when it comes to health care. Dr. Zachary Fowler is one of three health providers who see patients once a week. Blood pressure, medication refills, uh, routine labs, just kind of basic annual physical checkups to people who have been very sick. The free services they provide are first come, first serve, and the time the staff puts in is all volunteer. At the end of the night, no matter how difficult clinic is, there's a bond that's formed uh, with the volunteers, and we become a family because of that. Since we first reported on the opening of the clinic eight months ago, the rate of Oklahomans who don't have health insurance remains the same at 14%. According to the U.S. Census Bureau, the state has the second highest rate of uninsured in the U.S. behind Texas. Since I work in Stillwater, I had some patients tell me that they drive um, about 45 minutes um, here to uh, seek medical care. Dr. T.J. Trad says he sees the need in Creek County, which is why he chose to open his first U.S. clinic for his nonprofit, Cura for the World, right here. We didn't think it's going to be, uh, it's going to grow this fast. Um, the demand is obviously uh, very, very high. He says this is just the beginning of something bigger. Dr. Tratt's vision for this clinic in the future is to expand to a bigger facility, but they do need money for that. They are hosting a fundraiser event coming up on Saturday, March 28th. We have all that information on our website. Now for now, for any patient who wants to receive free medical services, this clinic is open on Tuesday evenings. Reporting in Sepulpa, Jitzel Puente, two works for you.